everybody, it's Jamie. And today's video is a makeup look inspired by Crowley. Um, as you know, hashtag spoiler alert, Crowley's not on the show anymore. Yeah. Uh, but Crowley is definitely one of my favorite bad guys to love on Supernatural. I remember when he when I was binge watching Supernatural and he first appeared, I was like, oh my god, he's gonna be such a good character, and he was. He had so many, like, layers and motives and just twisting and turning everything, and then his mom came on, and I was like, what? And so we got to learn about, like, human Crowley and Crowley's son, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I thought as a farewell to the King of Hell, that rhymed, I didn't mean it to, I would do a kind of Crowley inspired makeup look. Um, I'm sorry for the ridiculousness of my hair. It didn't curl like I wanted it to. I wanted it to look like this, but I didn't want to wait two days to film, so it looks like this. Let's get started then. So we're gonna start with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, Marine Boosting Mist. It's a setting spray, a primer spray, a refreshing spray. We're going to do eyes first, so we're going to take some eyeshadow primer. Actually, no. Yeah, we're going to put primer on, and then we're going to do our brows, and then we're going to come back to eyeshadow. That makes sense? I... We're mainly going to concentrate on eyebrows. Crowley has some pretty nice eyebrows. He's got typical, you know, man brows. Really thick and bushy, but his face is so expressive that you gotta have some on fleek eyebrows. Does anybody still say that? Probably not because I just used it. Gonna brush those bad boys. So we're going for Cara Delevingne brows. Okay, so ignore the craziness of my brains, but brows leveled up to Crowley. So now it only seems fitting to go in with the Hot Topic Supernatural palette which is beautiful and I love it so much. And we are going to start with the color Asplet as just an all over base. Cause again, we're not going super fantastic crazy. It's going to be just a real classy eye cause Crowley's pretty classy. He's pretty, pretty high end. Okay, and then we're gonna take the color Possession, which is kind of like a taupey brown, I believe. Um, and we're gonna take that on a Real Techniques 201 brush. It's kind of like a little dome. The tiny bit, and that's gonna go in the crease. We're gonna take the brush that came with the palette, which is just like a little small packing brush. And we're gonna just pack that in the inner corners. Sticking to where your eye, um, your eye socket naturally is. So I'm gonna take my Mac 217 or any fluffy brush, and we're gonna blend the outside edges real nicely. You're gonna want to layer it on pretty dark, because I did do. If I left the clip in, if I left the clip in. I did put demon eyes a little bit in there, and I, I didn't like how dark it made it. Um, so we're just going with possession only. I'm not sure why this eye doesn't look as dark. Okay, so you're going to take the lightest, lightest tap of demon eyes. Not even the full brush, just a little. Just to darken it up, just ever so slightly. So now that we've got some smoky eyes, we're going to move on to the most important part. Well, one of the most important parts. If I can find my liquid eyeliner. There it is. Some liquid eyeliner. Okay, so I'm back. I've done my eyeliner. Just do your winged eyeliner like you normally do. But if you're like me, and my eyeliner today, you can't get it sharp enough to kill your enemies. Then you're going to take a q-tip or a cotton bud, depending on what country you're in, some of your makeup remover, 
I use a Maricela water. You get one end of the Q-tip. Just not soaking. But just enough that you can like damp. And you're gonna take it and you're just gonna ever, 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 and this is a good opportunity to clean up any of that eyeshadow fallout, but you're just gonna slowly. Ooh, some unexpected fallout there. But you're just gonna slowly swipe closer and closer and closer until you get what you want. I'm gonna put on a bit of mascara and then, even more excitingly, if I remember where they are, we're gonna put on, they've kind of fallen, but some false eyelashes. Because we all know Crowley's a drama queen. Okay guys, back. I have sunshades on my eyelids now. I'm pretty impressed. The first time I truly tried, I had to rip this one off and put it back on because it was, I put it too far in instead of out far enough, but I think it definitely completes the look. We're gonna try this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I've been dying to try it. Beauty Blender is wet. I am gonna take just a little bit of the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Pore Minimizing Primer just for extra coverage or extra priming on my nose and on my cheeks because my pores are really big there. Um, did I tell you guys I had my eyelashes are the Ardell, the ones literally everybody on YouTube uses, the Ardell Demi Wispies. I figured they would be a good starter pair because they're not too thick and like, whoo. I'm going to bounce that in. I really like that foundation. It's not, I mean, like, I could put it on another layer and have it be super full coverage, but it blends really nicely. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my face, which is really nice. Now, we're going to do some contouring. Because the king of hell needs some contour. Um, we're not going to go with any highlight because we know Crowley is not sparkly whatsoever. Um, so I'm going in with the NARS Duo Stick. Sculpting multiple duo in Playa Flamingo and Oahu. Um, I think Oahu is the contour color. Sculpt up. And we're gonna do some on the jaw because I don't have a sharp one. And as well as I just threw my beauty blender somewhere. We're gonna take that and just taking some translucent powder. It's gonna go everywhere. Don't want to do highlight for Crowley necessarily. Oh, I forgot to blend my forehead contour. Large shadow brush. I'm gonna take some of rock salt. Just a little. I'm gonna put that right on the brow bone. Just to give it not necessarily like a sparkly highlight, but we do want it to look a bit lighter. So now we're gonna do lips. So we do have a couple options for Crowley. For one, I need to put on some chapstick. I'm going to put on the Baby Lips. Um, doesn't give me color. The one that comes in a blue tube. We're going to go in with the NYX Lip Creams in the colors Copenhagen and Monte Carlo. It's like a dark red and a, dark, uh, and a bright red. Both, 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 both cool tones. And we're going to go in with the dark one first, just in the outer corners. You can do this with lip liners too, I just don't have lip liners. And then you're going to put the bright red one over the top. You know what I'm going to do to make it even darker? Is I'm going to take the e.l.f. lipstick in the color Blackout. Um my only black lipstick and also my favorite. I'm going to set the mirror down and I'm going to take a little bit of this 
on a cheapo lip brush I got from Forever 21. Just kind of brush it on there. We're going to put that in the outer corners. Just a little, little bit. Now, both of those dry matte, but since I put the um, chapstick underneath and I didn't let that dry, they kind of will stay like this for a while. Um, so you can really easily blend the colors. Last thing! Setting spray, which we're back to the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist, and we're just gonna... Hello, boys. This So this is the completed look. I'm very impressed. I really like it. Ignore my stupid bangs. Um, but yeah, I think if I had pin curled them correctly and made them look like this, like I said earlier, it would have really completed the look. I'm very happy. Let me get my mirror out so I can, I can show you. I'm just very happy that I freaking got fake eyelashes on. Um, but yeah, I'm also getting very Regina vibes from Once Upon a Time. Uh, but I'm very happy with it. I definitely think the strong brows and the strong lip are very Crowley. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Mark Shepard Crowley inspired makeup tutorial. I'll make sure to link all the products I used below if they you can still buy them out there. Um, I know the Supernatural palette, you can still get a Hot Topic. It's an amazing, amazing palette. I love it. I loved it more than when I first reviewed it. So it's definitely the eyeshadows have proven to last all day and they blend nicely. They blend nicely with other eyeshadows as well. I have a NYX palette that I use, like Intermix, Supernatural, and the NYX one. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up as a farewell to Mark Shepard, our most amazing Crowley. Um, also, don't forget, you know, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, check out my website, and I will see you guys sooner rather than later. So goodbye.